Welcome to the UC eLinks tutorial. I'm going to review how UC eLinks provides a way to link to the full electronic text of articles in journals that the library subscribe to via databases or publisher websites. First of all, anytime you need to do research, check out the library's homepage. It's your portal to the world of scholarly information. One of the most useful services the libraries provide are resources called databases, which help you find scholarly journal articles on every imaginable subject. As I mentioned before, there's a tool called UCE Links, which will help you find the full text of all those great scholarly articles that the library's databases help you find. In order to show you how the UCE Links tool works to help you locate the full text of an article, I'm going to quickly review how you can find out which articles have been written on a topic. For example, Let's say you have an assignment to write a paper about how adolescent immigrants become acculturated to a new society. I'll use the keywords immigrants, acculturation, and adolescence to show you how to find the full text once you have a list of articles. An easy way to start looking is to click the Databases to Get You Started link. This is a collection of popular databases, each covering a variety of topics. Academic Search Complete is a good starting point since this database allows you to search for just about any topic and find something. Maybe you've already used it for one of your writing assignments in classes like Writing 39C or Humanities Core Course. This is a pretty typical result. You can read the titles to see if you're interested in getting the article. I'm going to look at the results numbered 25 and 26 in order to show you the various ways you can get full text. In result number 25, you can see a couple of icons which this database uses to link you directly to the full text. If you see this, HTML full text, you can get the full text in HTML. If you see this, PDF full text, you can get a PDF copy of the document. But if you look at result number 26, these icons don't appear. I'm going to click on the title to find out more information about the article, including the abstract. The abstract can help you decide if you really want the full article, but it's still only a summary. To find the full text, you need to use the UCE Link Super Tool. Look for the option to get it online from and click the go button or the link that appears right after the go button. I will view the article in PDF format. From here, you can read the article, download it to a flash drive, print it, or email a copy to yourself. I recommend using the PDF copy if you can. That way, you can make references to specific page numbers and use the document pretty much as if you had photocopied it from the print journal. You can download, print, or email a copy to yourself to read later. I just used the Academic Search Complete article database to show you how the UC eLinks tool works to find full text, but it's available in almost all the library's article databases. Always look for the orange button when you want to find copies of articles. To find the full text of an article, start at the library's homepage, click on Databases to get you started, choose a database to search, enter your search terms, click on the title of the articles you want to read, click on the UCE Links icon to find the full text. If you need help with UCE Links or any of the library's services or resources, you can always ask a librarian. There are many ways to get help at the beginning of your project, during the project if you get stuck or confused, or at the end when you're doing the grunt work of putting together your bibliography. If you need help using anything from the library, ask a librarian. 